You've got an ebook cover for your book done, but now you need to make it into a paperback cover and you have no clue how. Well, don't sweat it. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a paperback book cover in Canva. So stick around. What's shaking right, writers? Keith Wheeler here, and if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing easier to navigate, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash that little bell icon so you get alerted every time I put out new content. In a previous video, I showed you how to make an ebook cover using Canva, and I'll include a link to it here. I've gotten multiple requests since then asking me how to take that Canva ebook cover and turn it into a paperback or print book cover. So today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Canva for book covers. I'm going to flip the screen around and we'll get this Canva book cover tutorial started. To start with, since I'm publishing on CreateSpace, I'm going to go into Google and I'm going to type CreateSpace cover template. Now, if you're using a CreateSpace alternate platform like KDP or Lulu, you can just Google KDP cover template or Lulu cover template and a similar search will come up. I'd love to know what platform you're self-publishing your book on. Let me know in the comments below. And while you're typing that in the comments, I'm going to select the book cover template. Now I'm just going to fill in this information down here for my particular book, which is a black and white book. The trim size is going to be 6 by 9 it's 101 pages, and the paper color is white. I'm going to click Build Template, and it's going to tell me the two different types of files that are in the zip file. I'm going to click here to begin the download and save it. Now it saved it to my downloads folder, but it saved it as a zip file. I need to extract those files out, so I'm just going to right click and extract all. That's fine. And as you can see, it's going to give me a PNG and a PDF file. That PNG file is what we're going to need. Next, I'm going to jump over to Canva and I'm going to create a design. It's going to give me all these different options. I don't need any of those right now. I'm going to use custom dimensions. Now we're going to need to create the full spread cover of our paperback book here in Canva. So we're going to start by making sure that we're working in inches. To calculate the dimensions, we're going to start with the width. My book is six inches wide for the front cover, six inches wide for the back cover. And according to my template download, which I can click back over here, I'll look at it. If I zoom in, it will tell me that my spine width is 0.25 inches. And then I need to add 0.125 inch bleed on both the right side and the left side. So six inches for front, six for the back, 0.25 for the spine, 0.125 for the right bleed, 0.125 for the left bleed, all adds up to 12.5 inches. Now the height is a lot easier. All we need to do is it's nine inches tall and then add 0.125 to the top and 0.125 to the bottom for the bleed. So it'll be 9.25. Again, we're working in inches and we're going to click design. Here's my blank canvas in Canva. I'm now going to go to uploads and I'm going to upload the Canva ebook cover that I created previously, as well as the PNG template that I downloaded from CreateSpace. So first I'm going to get the ebook cover and I'm going to upload the PNG file. Now it tells me that PNG file is too big. It needs to be under 25 megs. Not a problem. We're just going to go to the PNG file. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to open it with paint. And all I'm going to do is simply save it as a JPEG. Great. Save. That's it. And there it is. And as you can see, the file size is drastically smaller. So that should be fine. We'll go to here and I'm going to upload the JPEG. Now that I have both files uploaded, I'm going to click on the book cover template. I'm going to stretch it out to fill the entire canvas. Next, I'm going to click on the ebook cover. I'm going to place the book cover to the right side to act as my front cover. I'm going to stretch it so it covers the entire area, including the bleed all the way to where the spine is. Next, I'm going to use my arrows to move it around so that way nothing important falls into the red area. I think we're good. Make the back cover for your print book. Just click on an element, click Shapes, 
I usually just pick the square and I drag it over the entire area. Here in the left corner, I can change the color. So I'm going to make this one black since my front cover was black so it blends in better. Next, I'm going to click Arrange. I'm going to arrange it to the back. There you go. There's my cover. Now, if you want to make your Canva book cover a bit more detailed, you can add in text. Put a text mark. It's going to drop it there. I can drag it wherever I'd like. I can change the font color. We're going to make it white. This is the book description. In Canva, we can change the font size. We can change the font type. If you want to go further, you can add in your author photo. And then we can add in another text box if I want to do a little bio. If I want to do an author bio. Obviously, I want to make this a different color. Let's make this white so it shows up better on the black. Now, before I'm done, I want to make sure that everything is placed in safe areas. So I'm going to click on my backdrop and I'm going to go to transparency and I'm going to make it probably about 50, yeah, about 50 percent transparent. It's just so that way you make sure that you can see the guidelines in the back because you want to make sure that you're not in any of the red area as well as your bio is not covering up where your barcode is going to be. It looks like I'm safe here. Let me put my transparency back. Canva auto saves every 20 seconds. So you want to make sure this says all changes saved. Give it a nice title. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to get rid of those guidelines. So I'm just going to move my backdrop just a bit so I can click on this, delete it, and then I'm going to bring my back cover back. Wait for it to save. And there you have it. Depending on the platform that you're publishing your book on, you can download it either as a PDF or a JPEG or a PNG file. Since I'm doing mine on CreateSpace, I'm going to do a standard PDF. And I download it, and there you have it. A Canva book cover tutorial on how to make Canva book covers for your paperback. If you'd like this content, be sure to give it a thumbs up to help support the channel. And on your way out, be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash the little bell icon so you get alerted every time I put out something new. Until next time, I'm Keith Wheeler, and remember to write right.